But given that the the that the Met have got just over thirty five thousand serving officers to to carry on the point that's previously been made, and Sir Mark Rady said about three thousand Met police officers are not properly deployable. So it's almost ten percent. Due to concerns over their health or their performance, there's reportedly another five hundred officers suspended or unrestricted duties because they've been accused of serious misconduct. Mark Rowley told the BBC that 100 officers are on very restrictive <coughs> conditions, quote, because they can't be trusted to talk to members of the public. And then we've got 1,000 or so who are being investigated, and there's absolutely no way that those full vesti- investigations are going to be completed by the end of this, um, at the end of this month. So um, regardless of austerity measures, about 10% of the, uh, the, 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 the manpower of the Met isn't actually able to be proper police officers. That's an appalling indictment of where they are. How, how did it get to that? There hasn't been a clear enough grip on what is happening. There hasn't been a clear enough grip on HR procedures. So some of those officers that are not deployable will be officers who uh, quite rightly have been you know, taken off frontline duties because some of them will have been injured in the line of duty. The question is how quickly... Small part of it. Small part of it. So, but, but all of the it, you question keep, is how quickly you, you they could referring, be returned. You keep referring to they... Is any of this your fault? I think in terms, of, in terms of the role of myself and the Mayor, we have been very clear for a number of years that the Metropolitan Police needed to change and to reform. We have done the oversight and the scrutiny. We have laid out there in terms of reports and the dashboards that we publish what's, what is happening within the Met. But is any of this your, your fault? Take responsibility. I would take, take responsibility. If we did not know what was happening within the Metropolitan Police, I would take responsibility for that. We knew that there were significant problems. We, had, we did the oversight, so for example on victim satisfaction and victim care, which is one of the key elements of the, the, uh, the reasons that the Metropolitan Police is engaged. We have published victim satisfaction surveys. Are you keep going about what you've published and all your victim surveys? Are the, is any of this actually your fault? The reasons that the Metropolitan Police are in special measures is from the poor leadership and the management. So, in You're ter- responsible for the leadership of the of the. I'm responsible for the oversight and the accountability okay. and holding to account. And None that of this we is your fault. Do. We, I, and the mayor have been robust in our account of, in holding the Metropolitan Police to account. We got to the point where let we. Let me ask knew one practical question. In, if you're, you're not going to say whether it's your fault or not, but let, one practical question: How? Often do you go and visit a police station in the Met area? I try to visit the front line or go on visits to the Metropolitan Police at least once a week. So you all go out on patrol with ordinary officers not on regular just on, basis? No, not, sorry, not just on patrol. I visit, the, I visit uh, specialist command units. 